right off the bat on this start. This is one of the wildest chaotic starts we have in all of NASCAR. Here they come to the green for 500 kilometers. Look at that one car on the racetrack. All the way back at Chastain. Four wide mid pack. Whoa. A lot of cars using that apron already. Boy, Ty Gibbs got a great start. Yeah, we saw Ty Gibbs right into the, the side draft, right? He knew Denny Hamlin was going to come down the racetrack, and he wanted to follow him down on the apron. But Ty Gibbs has been doing an amazing job at the end of last year and this year. You guys know him on that train. I think he's in position to, uh, you know, win a race as soon as it all comes together. So these Gibbs cars notoriously have been very good here at Phoenix, whether it's Xfinity, Cup cars, new style, old style. These guys have all uh, done really good uh, in Gibbs cars. Larson Suarez. Oh, Hell, big trouble in the back straightaway. A lot of damage to the left front of Austin Sindrick's car, and we're under the first caution of the day. Back at 30. You can see him sideways, clearing the back of the screen. Krause is around, stacks them all up behind him. Sindrick clips him with the left front, then Austin hits him. All right, everybody's still on the lead lap except Austin Dillon back in the race three laps down. Now Ty Gibbs got the lead from the outside on the initial start. He takes the inside this time. Big crossover from Reddick on the bottom. Came from the outside looking under. But Eric Jones holding strong on that outside. Yeah, the hard part about that apron, as you see Tyler Reddick down on the bottom, it's just hard to get the car to rotate and get up off the corner in the throttle. Those guys on the outside in the groove have that momentum to go back by you. It'll be three to go in the stage this time. Reddick sends it in on the inside. Edge is ahead, and he's going to lead, maybe lead his first lap of the day. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> he just barely missed that left front on the yellow line down there, and when you miss that yellow line, you just have to wait on the front to turn just a little bit longer. But this seems to be his better end and because he's got the option to drive down on the apron on the exit, but he's got him cleared this time. Tyler Reddick to the lead. It's going to be a busy pit road as soon as this caution comes out. But, man, he is pulling away. He likes what he feels so far. And his crew chief on the box, he's liking them lap times. We're going to finish stage one with 34 cars on the lead lap. Austin Dillon multiple laps down and Austin Sindrick out of the race on a lap six crash. For Tyler Reddick, his first stage win of the season and his first at Phoenix. All right, green flag. You're about to see why this grandstand is packed. Look at this. Man, three, four wide, four rows deep. Look at this, three wide getting down here. This is the corner that gets really tight. Jamie, what happened to Eric Jones on that pit stop? Yeah, he came in fourth and went out ninth. They had an engagement issue on the left front. The team is looking at it right now. The front changer, John Rosselli, said he wanted to watch and see what happened. Here's the pit stop. Watch the left front. They go on, and it's almost a double clutch. I'm not sure if this is something like what you saw last week in Las Vegas. You see it right there. Takes that extra couple few seconds, and that was five spots is the difference there on the exit of pit road. Wow. Watch this, Bubba Wallace coming up the racetrack, gets in the side of Chastain. Chastain scrubs the wall just a little bit. Man, this battle for the lead between Reddick and Hamlin is fantastic. Hamlin searching around, looking for grip on this racetrack, been low, been high. Reddick just hounding on him. Yeah, it's not not quite the lead yet, but they're they're right there with the leader. And, and we saw Tyler Reddick do this earlier to Ty Gibbs when he was taking the lead. Uh, earlier from Ty Gibbs. He's just able to cut that cut that car down in the middle of turns one and two and, and go in places and put his car at angles that other guys aren't. And that's that's how he's going to get by Denny Hamlin right here as well. Well, this caution better hurry. They're the <laughs> leaders. <laughs> Eighth place on the right of your screen, Martin Truex, Chase Elliott. And they are about uh, 7.6 seconds back of Gilliland, who is about to surrender the lead to Tyler Reddick. You noted it, Kevin. That car took off better. Whether they made an adjustment or just set of tires or whatever, but that Reddit car really took off a lot better on the front side of this run. Look at this. 
Gold right around him on the bottom. Is he going to get him clear? Yes, oh, yeah. sir. Crossover coming. Here comes. He looked to the inside. So Christopher Bell has driven to the lead with just a couple of laps to go in stage two. McDowell and Zane Smith and Chase Briscoe. McDowell saying, go, 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 boys. Go, go. He's right on me. And Bell can cruise to the stage win, his first of 2024. He only had one stage nice point there, this man. season entering today. Ty Gibbs has yet to recover from that bad pit stop. And Christopher Bell, he won stage two, passing Tyler Reddick for the lead right here. As I said, it's just been a complete domination by Toyota. But, of course, on that last pit stop, we just saw issues for Christopher Bell. Yeah, it looks like the same thing that happened to his teammate Ty Gibbs earlier in the race. This has dropped him back all the way to 10th. With 119 laps to go in the Arizona desert, it's Denny Hamlin on the inside of Tyler Reddick for the restart. Byron and Elliott right behind them, then Blaney, and here we fan out for the dogleg. Wow, six wide. Well, it's getting closer to the end of the race, and these guys know it's time to go, and they're taking more chances, and we'll see that as we go throughout the day. Somewhere I hear Christopher Walken banging a cowbell going, more restarts. And we're going to have one. Try to get a roll in here when you can. Leader start, finish line. Kyle Busch around. Yeah, this has been a bad day for Kyle Busch. It's really been a bad weekend. Really, from the time they unloaded, this this number eight car has, has not performed like he wants it to. We've heard him complaining a lot on the radio and lots of changes on the team, but they've uh, definitely had a struggle to the weekend. Oh, you see him right there in the middle of the racetrack. Just starts to come around on him. Got it caught up, had to correct it. Got up in the car on the outside of him. Yeah. Man, it's just a handful of a race car. Almost. Pretty much the same spot that Derek Krause had his, his issues earlier when the car stepped out. Here we go. Gregson up the outside, four wide. Well, we heard Denny Hamlin talk about his issues. Whoa. Oh, and in the wall just well, a bit there. It was uh, Chase Elliott got into him a little bit, got loose, really upset his race car. Yeah, and Chase is stuck in the middle. Still oh. loose. Chastain in the outside wall. That may have been hard enough to bend a toe link right there. Whoa. Up Bell and Elliott. And around goes Logano. I get it rolling straight here. And another former champ having a bad day in Phoenix. Logano was in the free pass position. And Derek Krause involved. And Corey LaJoy, who had just gotten the free pass. And sure enough, John Hunter Nemechek Whoa. run over him from the back. Around it went, right up into the traffic of other cars. Corey LaJoy, nowhere to go, right in his lap. Unfortunate ending. Derek Krause likewise. Barry spins. And Zane Smith hard on the brakes, avoids uh, serious contact as he gets into Logano. A little bit of strategy to keep an eye on. Save heck, I want to pass somebody. Well, they're going <laughs> to right here. See Martin Truex up on the outside. He's got a great run down the back straightaway. And that's what happens on these restarts. You have a lane that just opens up, and all of a sudden, you're passing Whoa. two, three, four cars. And that's what happened to Martin Truex right there. The lane opened up, and he took advantage of it. Now he's racing for the lead. We see a little contact. That 19 car is really taking off well. What a battle for the lead. And that's what we talked about earlier, Clint, was just finding a lane that worked for you. And uh, apparently, that's, that's where his car likes to be in turns one and two, for sure. Oh, we got one around. Denny Hamlin. Single car spin. Nobody gets into him, but yellow fever continues at lap 215. Racing for the lead. Denny Hamlin goes around. See Denny Hamlin on the bottom of the racetrack getting into turn one. He's safe. Gets a little bit loose. Comes oh, up the racetrack. No. Had to catch it. Getting his door of Reddick. And away it came. Around it came. Wow. Did not see that coming. Boy, that could have been big. Brad Keselowski 
was almost right on him. So if those guys were, as we look at this one more time, those guys that just pitted, if they were close on fuel and, and felt like they were in a position to, to make it to the end, now you're gonna now you're gonna have all these guys up front that have to pit, and they're gonna, it's gonna flop the field, Clint. 100%. Well, Kyle Busch's luck finally changed. He is the free pass. Well, he'll be back on the lead lap. Here's Ryan Blaney's view. Green flag. Truex with Gilliland in tow. Tyler Reddick back at 16th and Christopher Bell back at 19th after pit stops. Bell way on the bottom gains no ground there. Yeah, and those guys that that got flipped that had the pit right there. They're going to have to have some super aggressive restarts and make up some ground really quick in order to, to make up the ground that they need by the end of the race. Denny Hamlin restarted 23rd. He's gained three spots. Oh. Wide in contact. And into the fence goes Eric Jones. Still green here. The bubble walls got loose. Had to run it up the racetrack, got into the side of Eric Jones, running right on the Keep a close eye on Truex here. 41 laps to go. Jamie. Martin Truex Jr., you see him there. He gives up the lead, like 55 laps. They just couldn't make it any farther on these older tires. His pit crew is ready. It'll be four tires and enough fuel to get him through this stop if they can hit their marks and salvage some positions at this point, Mike. Looked a little slow on the right rear. Well, it won't matter with everybody else staying out. Damage is done. Just didn't work out for him. Traffic ahead. White flag. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. His center corner speed has just been lights out. He was here at the test, put in the time, worked hard, and it's paying off. And his car can go anywhere on the racetrack, which has made him very versatile and be able to get through traffic well. Preparation's key, and those guys certainly have checked that box here this weekend. This will be his fourth consecutive season with a victory in the NASCAR Cup Series. Christopher Bell off the final corner, and he wins in Phoenix. Excellent job, Adam. White Knight Willie, everyone on this 20 car. Thank you, guys. Excellent, excellent car. Quite a battle right at the finish. Blaney Chastain. Look at this for fifth. He drove it off in there, put the pressure on him, didn't he? I think Blaney thought he was going to do a slide job, stayed on the bottom. Great finish for fifth right there. Blaney got him.